What's going on YouTube? This is Wi-Fi Mammon here, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys a Wi-Fi battle. Um, I'm going to be um, featuring a uh, Belly Jumps Charizard, hopefully, today. Uh, I've had a bunch of practice matches with this team, and to me this team is really, really good, in my opinion. It's a team I created myself. Um, as you see right, um, we are featuring also a, a Toga Kiss and a Toga Tech today as well. I'm very excited to show you guys all of these. I think this is going to be some pretty fun matches. Um, but a little bit about myself before uh, we go really deep into this. Um, I it's almost been about a decade since I've done YouTube. I'm 23 at the time, uh, at this time. But um, back when I was about 13, 14, I had this channel, the same channel name, Wi-Fi Merriman. It was around the time of Heart Goes So Silver. I'd, upload about a hundred videos of uh, doing Wi-Fi battles and stuff uh, most of them were singles but here recently I've been getting into uh, VGC and um, I really uh, like this and I just now been able to get settled back in and I was like hey I just wanna start uploading on YouTube again so I kinda opened up this channel I had, it f I had this channel for about a year probably about two years now but yeah, I just haven't had uh, any time to do any battles, and I'm um, finally getting an opportunity. And uh, so this is the first battle, so um, it's been about a decade, and I figure, what, 2020 is a good start. But anyway, if we look at my opponent's team right here, it's a, it's a rain team. I, yeah, it's definitely a rain team, but I don't think it matters. We're going to do what we what my team normally does. We're going to leave Togekiss. Toga Kiss. And uh, Charizard. We're going to take Whimsicott in the back. And most of the time we do Togetic. And then this is what we. This is what my normal squad looks, looks like. But honestly, I'm not even played against any rain team with a squad. So uh, wish me luck. Because I'll need it. For sure. <laughs> now, if I happen to look on the side, the TV's on, on this side. So if you see me looking that way it's don't don't mind it I'm, I'm gonna try and get more professional as I as I go but I mean hey first video back please give me some slack so um let's see what we got here we got a Ludicolo Pelipper what do we want to do well what I want to do I probably need to find a way to move my face cam too but let's follow me And uh, let's go ahead, Belly Drum. I don't see too many consequences on this play. This is actually a really good play. Okay, my opponent goes ahead and Dynamaxes. That's okay. I mean, if it's a special hit, Togekiss more than likely will survive anyway. It's a Ludicolo. Um, yeah, I actually don't know what the damage counts are, but I have a bunch of HP in Togekiss, so. And that's. He has to be. He ha He's going into Togekiss because follow me so yeah we'll see but that's the cool part about this I actually get an advantage if Togekiss faints too you know but I just don't want to faint to uh, this attack okay so if now if I faint through Pelipper then Charizard gets a free belly drum off which is very good yeah I even have Citrus Berry on it it actually uh plays very big because with uh, acrobatics I'm able to um ooh okay okay so that's, that's awesome alright so what we're gonna do is follow me again and we're just gonna go ahead get big boy go ahead Gigantamax max airstream onto the Ludicolo let's see what his answer is Let's really see what his answer is. I don't think he has an answer. So I'm really excited. This might be a Charizard sweep. I'm I'm feeling like this could be a Charizard sweep, guys. Like, I'm not kidding. I'm excited for it. Let's see. Alright. Toad Kiss followed me like we planned. We planned it. Alright, so there's the geyser. Togekiss faints. Now, 
Pelipper gets an opportunity to use Scald onto Charizard, so I don't wonder. Yeah. Ooh, okay, we live. Max Airstream. Yeah, that's a dead Ludicolo. <clears throat> but. Hmm. I am really low on HP though. I'm not a big fan of that. But, this Charizard is also Blaze. So in a way, that's good. Let's just see how um, far we can go. Alright, so he's got Rotom. Really and truthfully, I'm fine with both. Ugh, bet your Pelipper's uh, Sash. Let's go ahead, Deagling. Let's go ahead, Max Guard. Bet you Pelper Sash. Almost 100%. So, I mean, we'll see. We'll Max Guard this and see what happens. Okay, so yeah, I figured a Scald was coming my way. Okay, and wow, what was those? Wait. What? What? Don't necessarily know what happened. Okay. You're gonna follow me. We're gonna... Hmm. Pelipper may protect. To me, okay, what can my team handle? Pelipper or H Slash? Got Whimsicott. Uh, yeah, we're probably more apt to try and take out the H Slash. <coughs> yeah, it's probably ideal to knock out the H Slash first. Okay. Shadow Sneak. Beautiful. Beautiful. Alright. That actually looks... That was great. Okay. Perfect. <coughs> Sorry. That was, that was perfect. Okay. So, actually, this shows actually how great Togetic can be. It's really bulky. Like, I'm not going to lie. It is really bulky. Alright, their tail one petered out. And then Charizard gets small. But, look how much damage Charizard's already done to their team. That's what I'm saying, how great this Charizard is. Um, well, just follow me again. Just, just Charizard is our main sweeper. We do not want him to faint. But right here, Acrobatics. Very powerful attack. I use my Citrus Berry, so that means I have no item. So, Togetic, follow me, Activix. Alright, great. So, so yeah, everything's looking great. Alright, so, Pelipper's out. I win first game. Crit matter, totally, crit matter. But hey, first game, hey, I win. I'm probably going to do uh, one more. And then, um, hopefully I'll be able to... Uh, figure out all the editing and stuff. This is still kind of like a trial video, so uh, cut me some slack on this one. I'm planning on doing about three, four battles per video, but for this first one, I want to do just more like a trial, so. And yeah, my rating is uh, decent. I'm hoping to do better. Uh, please do not look at the win lose, because uh, I do have more losses than wins, but I'm climbing. Uh, this is not the team that I was playing with, though. It was more of a Dracovish Dragapult team that actually got me to Masters, so it was a pretty good team, but it is what it is. But anyway, let's look at our opponent. Now, my main lead is the Togekiss Charizard. That hands down. That's my first lead I always do. Now, 
The only thing that's stopping that is the Rhyperior. Oh, man. But you got to think, they're probably thinking Charizard has Solar Beam. They're probably thinking Charizard's a solar power. Charizard that has solar beam. That, that's what they're thinking. See? So. Let's do it. And see what happens. I mean. Heck, if I lose the Rhyperior, then. Oh well. I'm not the first guy to ever lose the Rhyperior, so. <clears throat> but it, it's true. I mean, most people are going to be thinking that um, this Charizard's going to be special. Until they see Belly Drum, and then they'll be like, oh crap, it's physical, you know? What do we do at that point? Knowing that I saw Rhyperior, I actually really need to get back used to doing this YouTube because I really don't know. Okay, there's the Bronze on Butterfree. Okay. Yeah. My biggest focus was on that right here. I didn't even know they had bronze on. So, wow. I need to... Alright, so... Yeah, follow me is still the best play. Um, I did bring Whimsicott in the bag, didn't I? I did. Oh, boy. Okay. Alright, so... That's... Beautiful. Let's go ahead and set up our belly drum. Okay, so he sets up a rage powder. I take those. <laughs> and then he's gonna trick room. <laughs> I belly drum. I take those. I take those all day. Eat my citrus berry. There's the trick room. Okay. Okay, so. I have no problem to click follow me at this at this point. Let me go ahead. Dynamax. Wildfire. We're gonna go ahead and knock out, uh, hit the bronze on. Like the Butterfree's potential focus sash, because of how wildfire works, it's like a fire spin. So it's actually really, really nice. And I like Charizard's design too. That's probably one of the big reasons why I wanted to run Charizard. It, it really looks awesome. <clears throat> But yeah, here's the Togekiss using Follow Me. Okay, that I think that was a reflect. And there's a the sleep powder. Okay. Perfect. Cause I have the lumber. <laughs> and here's a G Max. Yeah, don't care about your reflect, man. You're dead. And see how Butterfree takes some damage? It's actually a very significant amount of damage, too. That's a, it's quite a bit. Sometimes that could be a matter of life and death. You know what I mean? That, that's very powerful. Now, right here is who we were afraid of. As of right now, I can follow me. Uh, it's going to be four times resisted, but might be the only. Yeah, we're going to have to do it. I mean, we're plus six. Yes, he has the reflect up, so. But it's still going to do a lot. Like, if it does over half, then we're fine. Alright, let's see what happens. Like I said, if it does about... If we do about half, we're fine. I'm curious. And that could be, uh, I guess, with the wildfire as well. If it takes them over half, then we might be alright. So, Butterfree uses Rage Powder. Ooh! Sacking off your Butterfree like that, though. That, that's sturdy, man. 
Ooh, okay. Sorry, Tuggy Kiss. <laughs> yeah, wow. That's that's tough. <laughs> so I can't bring in Whimsicott right here, can I? Or can I? No, I think I try and do another um I need a wildfire onto that, um need wildfire damage and if I bring Whimsicott I'm gonna have to um protect so I, this is a definitely a tug attack kind of turn right here like Whimsicott would be great to uh reverse the trick room and stuff but it doesn't look like that's gonna happen all right here's Corviknight okay so if we can get massive damage off on that Rhyperior that's huge. That will be huge because I don't believe Corvin Knight can uh, touch Charizard. Well, it probably can, but don't think he'll do much, much damage at all. Let's see how much damage are we looking at here. Did I live? Togetic lives. There's the iron defense. Hey, Togetic lived. I mean, this guy must be like, what the? Yeah, Togetic lift. And that did very little amount. Dang. Yeah. This one might be GG. But it ain't over until it's over, you know? I mean, he can't set up a trick room. Corvin Knight it's not going to like that. How many turns of a uh, trick room do they have? This is the big question. I mean, if it runs out right now, we might be alright. Honestly, I have not been keeping up with it. <coughs> uh, we can go to info. How many turns? Trick room's got one turn. Mmm. We can go ahead and set up a Tailwind. And hope that Charizard lives. Charizard's actually 109 HP, so... It's doable, I'm assuming. So we'll see. Go ahead and set up a Tailwind. Yeah, that's game. For sure. That was game, but still, I'm glad I was able to um, at least get all this started off for you guys on YouTube. Um, I'm glad um, I'm able to kind of show off the power of uh, Togetic and uh, Charizard and how it could be a really great strategy. So far, like I said, the only weakness of this team is this Rap Harrier. Because I feel like this team's really, really good. So, um, anyway, thanks for watching. This is Wi Fi Merman. You guys, peace out. Help me, uh, come up with some strategies to beat Rapier and Trick Room. But other than that, thanks for watching.